I am unaware of any other lockout situation where the employer was putting a $50 million lobby on the front of the building. Obviously the musicians are incredibly disappointed that we are not being allowed to serve our community the, the way that we like and that takes form in not only our classical concerts but we're not being allowed to perform family concerts, educational outreach concerts, school visits and things like, like that. So really it's the greater community that we serve. E everyone is being denied this through this lockout. When we consider what would the impact be of an absolute disaster in the labor negotiations going on at the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra or the Minnesota Orchestra. You know, are we looking at a nuclear winter overnight? We're going to see a mass evacuation? No, of course not. But these are the flagship institutions of our arts community. They are really critical. Uh, in order to be competitive globally, we are paying attention to making our city a competitive place. And, and more than ever, having uh, talent and entrepreneurs being attracted to your city is, is critical because what we're finding is that uh, talent, especially young talent, they're choosing where they want to live, then choosing where they want to work. And, and when you look at what, what that young talent wants, it, has, it comes down to arts and culture and social offerings. We know how much the community loves the arts and it's that that gives me hope for um, uh, an eventual favorable out outcome to this situation.